My name is uh, Joseph Liardi. I go by Joe, and I am a full colonel, 06, uh, and I recently retired from the U.S. Army. The, the Army War College is one of several Department of Defense senior service colleges where students come to school to get strategic education and uh, graduate education and kind of expand their learning. It's a professional military education for lieutenant colonels and full colonels. What happens is the Army, the U.S. Army, and there's more than just U.S. Army students, but the U.S. Army runs a board of senior officers that select you based on your evaluations, based on your performance uh, files. So you're selected for both the resident program and the distance program. There's a total of 380 students. So we have students from U.S. government interagency, such as Department of State, Department of Homeland Defense, different U.S. government agencies. We also have international students from allies and partner uh, nation militaries. And they range from almost every continent. So South America, North America, we have Canadians come every year, Africa, Europe, and Asia. And they are typically lieutenant colonels and whatever translates from their country, the rank, to we even have uh, major generals from other countries that attend the, uh, the War College. The Army for me, and I think for many other people, is an incredible opportunity to see the world and get some skills. So as an Army officer, uh, the Army paid for two master's degrees for me. So I had my bachelor's degree, I had some scholarship money for my undergraduate or bachelor's degree. But then after I joined the Army, I got additional schooling, which was both focused on military specialties as well as Master, I got a master's degree in history, also a master's in strategic studies. So it provides opportunities. It allows you to open up your perspective, uh, whether you're enlisted um, or you're an officer, you can get skills that can help you if you don't stay 20 or 30 years. Like you can become a helicopter mechanic or a fixed wing plane mechanic or a truck mechanic or a truck driver. You can get those skills. The military pays for that training. And then you can also get lots of experience, which is pretty good uh, if you don't want to stay in the military. The final reason for joining the military, I would say, is because you are serving a higher cause. You have a purpose and it transcends individual or family, you are serving the American people. And that's a very, very important fact because the military, the Army specifically, but the military in general, relies on the American people. So that's pretty important. For the Army War College, what the Army War College does, it provides a strategic-minded education. So you're not just looking at specific things on a battlefield, you're looking at what are the, uh, the reasons for going to war, and what are the policies that shape those, and you learn how to provide best military advice to the strategic leaders like the President of the United States, up to the President of the United States, of course. I deployed four times to combat. I deployed two other times. So my combat deployments, three combat deployments to Iraq. One was very long, over 14 months, and it was very difficult, uh, but it was very rewarding. And I have two other deployments overseas that were not combat. One was a peacekeeping uh, in Kosovo in 1999, where um, the U.S. Army supported the U.N. mission in Kosovo to prevent continued conflict between Serbians and uh, Albanian Muslims in Kosovo. The other was a counter-drug mission, 
but it was more than that. It was supporting our partners in Central America, but also helping the, helping the Central American people in general. As we did things like provided military helicopter lift for supplies during hurricanes, brought in medical supplies into very remote villages. We brought in food supplies, water, fresh water uh, during natural disasters. So we did a whole bunch of stuff. So my experience has been very broad. It has certainly broadened my perspective. I lived in Germany and worked in Germany for the U.S. Army for almost 11 years. I lived with a German family for five years, almost five years. It made me realize that, that as Americans, we're very lucky for what we have. Um, certainly not perfect, <laughs> but there's a lot of opportunities and, we, and we, have all, we get a lot of benefits as Americans. I've traveled to, let's see, over 40 countries from Sweden to, I lived in Germany, Spain, France, Croatia, Kosovo, in the Middle East, I was in Iraq, I was in Kuwait, I've been to Afghanistan, I've been to Africa and Tunisia, where we visited uh, one of the international students and their family, uh, from, uh, and their family from, from the War College. Um, in South America, I've been everywhere from Belize, uh, Latin America, I've been in Mexico. Uh, I taught a, taught a course in Mexico. Yeah, there's a lot of countries, Italy, <laughs> you name it. I think my favorite, my favorite country would probably be um, Italy, but I would say almost every country has things about it that I liked. So... Afghanistan was a pretty austere environment and it was, um, it was pretty challenging to be there. But when you're flying in a helicopter over the mountains of Afghanistan, it's beautiful. And it's a very complex society. So I think for me, what I got out of every country I went to, whether it was Belgium, whether it was Netherlands, whether it was Sweden, whether wherever it was, I learned something about the cultures, the people, and, um, and and learning is very important to me. So, so I really enjoyed the opportunity to travel. Well, I, I think if I look over a 30-year career, um, which I just recently retired, there are times when balance was very difficult, um, where my whole focus seven days a week, 16 hours a day was the combat mission. But there are plenty of opportunities like at the U.S. Army War College where I got to spend more time with my family. and. To me, it's a prior, prioritization issue so, or, or, or challenge is what's the priority? So understanding what the priorities are, work, family, physical and mental fitness are, are a key part of that as well. Uh, volunteering, I did some volunteer work in some of my assignments. It's just a matter, matter of prioritizing and sometimes you have to prioritize work uh, with very little family, but you get, uh, you do what you can during those times. It, it certainly helps having a very resilient spouse and having two boys who both graduated from CV High School who uh, lived in Europe and, and the oldest was born in Germany. So, so I, I did get to spend a lot of time with them, but, but it's, it's, it, it, it can be challenging at times, but very rewarding.
At the Army War College, my most memorable, memorable moment or event uh, would probably be getting recognized, awarded uh, academic rank of assistant professor um, after three years of teaching. And also, uh, right before I retired, I was one of a very small group of the faculty that was an, uh, awarded an Excellence in Teaching Award for a class that I taught, it was a hybrid class where I had students in person, I had students online, and some of those students were international students uh, from Chile, uh, from Guyana, and from Canada. So, so I, I was a uh, reserve officer training, so after high school, and, and I went to a private high school in Fairfax, Virginia, I went to James Madison University, and I joined ROTC. And then the way it works uh, in ROTC is once you graduate, you earn your commission as long as you're in good standing with, with, uh, with the program. So, so when I graduated uh, May 8th, 1993, there was a commissioning ceremony where I was pinned, I pinned the rank of second lieutenant, which is the first level as a commission officer. The U.S. Army uh, War College has a sponsor program where you can volunteer your time to sponsor an international officer and if they have a family, their family as well. So for us, for my family, it was a great opportunity to give back and to help help international families who may, it may be their first time in the United States, it may, some, some multiple times in the United States, but help them integrate and become familiar with the U.S. culture and in many ways become friends. It's a great opportunity to help them, get to know them, get to learn about their countries, some of which uh, we're sponsoring Peru this year. I've never been to Peru, maybe one day we'll go, but uh, they teach us about their culture and we teach them about the U.S. culture. The militaries of most countries send their best and brightest officers to the U.S. Army War College and, and, and other Department of Defense War Colleges. 